Day three deals with solving linear systems using the elimination method. There are six steps that we're going to go through. We'll talk about those steps as we go through example one. Step number one says to arrange the equations with like terms in columns. If we take a look at example one, we have our x's, our y's, and our constants all lined up. So step one is done. Step two says to multiply one or both of the equations by a number to obtain coefficients that are opposites for one of the variables. If we take a look at our y values in example one, we have a positive three coefficient and a negative three coefficient. Positive three and negative three are opposites, so step two is also set up and done for us. Step three says to add the equations from step two. Combining like terms will eliminate one of the variables. So let's go ahead and add these two together. If we add them, four x plus two x will give us six x. Three y and negative three y will cancel out, that's zero and 16 plus 8 will give us 24. If we take a look at step 4, it says to solve for that remaining variable. So we're going to solve for the x that we have left. All we have to do to solve for x is just divide both sides by 6. And if we divide by 6, we get x equal to 4. Step 5 says to substitute the value we just obtained, which is this, in step 4, into either of the original equations and solve for the other variable. So we're going to plug this x value into either the top equation or the bottom equation to solve for y. So let's just use the top one for now. If we substitute it in, we have 4 times 4 plus 3y equal to 16. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3y equal to 16. If I subtract 16 from both sides, I get 3y equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 3, I get y equals 0. My last thing that I need to do is step 6, which is to check my answers. Now I can check them in my head, I can check them on paper, or I can use my calculator to do that. I'm going to show you what it should look like on the calculator. On the calculator, what we want to do is take the values we just got, which is the x equals 4 and the y equals 0, and we're going to plug them into our original equations. We need to check both of them. So we'll start with the first equation. On the calculator, you would type in 4 times 4 plus 3 times 0 and hit enter. As you can see, you get 16, which is what we wanted. So we know it works in the first equation. Now let's do the second. 2 times 4 plus 3 oops, not plus, minus 3, times 0. If we hit enter, we get 8, which is what we wanted over here, so we know that our answer is correct. Now if we come back, I want you to look down at the try this on the bottom underneath here. I want you to go ahead and do that try this on your own and then check your answer. Go ahead and hit pause right now. If you did this answer correctly, you should get that y, that y equals negative 3 and x equals 2.